Hey everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. When we last left off, we learned that Clive was indeed the Icon of Fire that killed his brother, and uh, he didn't handle that so well, understandably. Let's go and jump back into this. So we did also jump into the um, arcade mode. We did the first two, I guess you'd call them chapters. And there is the option for us to do one Don't more. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Did you see the girl? Um, sorry, I got um concerned there for a second. Dressing dirty rags. I'll have to make a new dress for her. Uh, so anyways, we did the first two, uh, I guess, chapters on arcade mode. There's one more that we Ooh, could do. That's it by all accounts. Not by Bellinus Tor. Gods. It's a wonder we didn't feel it here. So, I'll let you guys decide if we continue the main story or if we uh, knock out that last chapter we have for arcade mode. Arcade mode? Or actually, I'll just play which mode? Arcade or story? What'll it be? Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Glad you could be here. All right. Uh, looks like we're going to be starting with uh, that last one on arcade mode. Which I think this is a relatively short chapter. So those of you that wanted to see story, I don't think you're going to have to wait too long. Uh, yeah, because it's just I had the Tempest. So it's just the fight with Garuda and then presumably as Ifrit against Garuda. Let's do it. Oh, and let's see. Satsuna said he was going to try to beat my score. I don't see it here. Looks like he was unsuccessful. You called me. Oh, Why? starting right at the fight. Skip. Eye of the Tempest. I love the way she looks. Just so insane looking. Nope. I'm in the thick of things. Ah, oh, that was a super late dodge. Pull it down! I do love that move. Being able to pull him down like that is super cool. Is she ever gonna stagger? Oh my god. There she goes. Unleash! Wait, I don't have the dog with me, do I? No, I don't. I what happened to the dog at this point? Why isn't he here? 9,105 damage, that's significant. Please push. So crazy looking, I love it. Can I skip this? No. Oh no! I forgot. I can't attack her during that. I just have to dodge. 
me uh, shoot her with magic. Oh, here we go. Let me shoot her with magic. I just can't melee her. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not great. Oh, I can dodge those. Nice. <laughs> Get away from me. Get dodged. Ah, I got a little greedy there. Hold her down. Slash, slash. <laughs> I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Get staggered. Switch. You know, shift strike at the end of the uh, regular combos is pretty good way to handle that. I like that. That's such a brutal finish. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we got S on the first part. I'm a little worried about the Ifrit fight. I'm not very good at using him, but we'll see how this goes. Skip. 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 No, no skip. Destroy your stupid ball. I like that, huh? Get that out of here. I said, get that out of here. Mmm, eat fireballs. <laughs> she can't do anything. Alright, come on. Close door. Ah, oh, this sucks. This can't be good points. Oh, got her. Punish. Get that out of here. A hey, fireball. Oh, she got me. I get her. Yeah, no! <laughs> I suck at using it for it. Ow. Oh, 
almost close enough. Wait for it. Ah! Alright, get her! Boom! <laughs> Lunge combo. All at one star for some reason. Got her. Yeah, well, the lunge combo is giving me the rainbow thing, which I think gives me a ton of points. So that's working out pretty well. Dang it. It is a little annoying that I move slow as molasses on the ground, but in the cutscenes I'm like jumping around like crazy. The cutscenes not the right word. Whatever. Action moments. QTEs. Fuck you! Alright, did I get my S? Oh, last part was A, but will the totality be S? 
Maybe? Maybe? Yes! Nice. Yeah, I was worried about the Ifrit part because I'm just not good at using him. Chained a combo for 15 or more seconds. Executed a precision dodge. Took no damage as Ifrit from Garuda's aerial blast ability. Stopped Garuda's lunge as Ifrit. Took no damage from Garuda's tornadoes as Clive. Thoroughly exploited Garuda's vulnerability. Attacked without pause for the duration of the stage's battles. Increased damage multiplier to 1.5 times while an enemy was staggered. And killed the target with deadly embrace. <laughs> S for Sephiroth. Alright. We have S on all of the available... I, don't, I still don't know if I would call these chapters or whatever. But regardless, they're all S now. So, let's get back to our main story, shall we? Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Journey to the King's Fall. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Right, let's make sure there's no quests or anything. Looks like there's not. Not a whole lot of side quests so far. Let's go. <laughs> you love this walkthrough? Everyone else is rushing through. It's so annoying. Yeah, I am definitely not one to rush my game, so. Glad you enjoy that, Savvy. Because you'll always get the slow playthroughs on this channel. We take our time. We stop and smell the roses. Alright. The King's Fall. Here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and bournes to converge into a single resplendent cataract where a bygone king is said to have lost both life and kingdom. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. The Hunter and the Hunted. Who's a good Torgal? You're a good Torgal. 
Let's make sure there's not a shiny behind us. There is not. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Four chunks of weir, right? Huh, maybe we jump down? I guess so. Oh, we got angry crabs. Oh wait, those are spiders. Never mind. Okay. The one thing I, I struggle with is um, remembering that um, in the wind attunement, I don't have the uh, charge. I pull enemies to me. So, like, often I'll use it when I, to think I'm, like, going somewhere else, and then I'm like, all right, I'm not moving at all. Uh, I need to be using Torgon. Uh, basic enemies, I feel like, are getting a little bit harder. They're not dying as quick. This is some very interesting music. Three sharp fangs. Oh, jeez. Not great timing there. Good thing we're not on arcade. Man. We can afford to be bad. Sick on boy. Sick on Toggle. You know what to do, boy. Sick on Seven thousand eight hundred and thirty. Garuda, lend me your strength. Who's Down you go. Sick of Toggle. Gonna try to keep my abilities for when he's staggered. There we go, perfect. Jeez, look how much gill I have. A Minotaur mane. A mane used in everything from helm crests to hairbrushes. Primarily by those people lucky enough never have to never to have met with a Minotaur. And lo did Sir Crandall strike the mane from the beast and rob him of his strength. From the noble knight. Perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Sid did that on purpose. He just wants battle to distract Clive.
A potion. Good. Got another one over there. Two pinches of magic ash. Can't be much further now. Three bloody hides. Team action there, I like it. Get the off. Nice. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna switch this Garuda one. I don't like the claw thing. Wicked Wheel's good, but uh, I would like to get something else. Maybe we'll try Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Can be caused, or can be used in midair. Interesting. And there's also Aerial Blast. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies and upon ensnaring them inflicts multiple hits. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. That's expensive though. That's super expensive. Why don't we try Rook's Gambit for a little bit and see if we like this. All right, how do I equip it? Let's see. Let's put... I would like to switch this. Maybe I do that from here? Oh, here. Here we go. Looks gambit. All right. Let's see if we like that at all. I have to use that one a little more strategically too. Well, potentially. Don't have to use it strategically, but pretty cool if I do. Oh. Uh, come on. Let me through. Oh, get wrecked. I'm ready. Rook's Gambit. Nope. Nope, that got me hit. That seems to do a lot of damage, even without the counter. The counter's not worth it. Oh, couldn't quite get that out of there. Ow. Yeah, 1,295 for a quick attack. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, why didn't I try that? Never gonna be. Oh, jeez. Staggered! Potion, nice. 
do I have now? Do I have three? Let me use this. <laughs> that didn't work. It's over. One of you. Oh, he's got a friend. Wow, that seems a little unfair for this dude. <laughs> oh, I just had to fight two dominants. You know, no big deal. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I am bad tonight. I can't dodge anything. <laughs> Jumped over him. What's this? Oh, perfect. I get, I get some style points. Alright, I'm better. Freaking heal. Oh, he tricked me. Not expecting the double jump. Dodging is so off tonight. Ow. There we go. Oh. Hold him down. Although the nice thing about... Yeah, the, the nice thing about gouge is it really... Um, it really does a ton of uh, willpower damage. My God, what the heck is this? Since when could these bastards fly? The war goes on. 
must come down. Nice job. Bloody time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. Right, you know what? I'm gonna switch back. I do like the willpower damage on it. Gouge your back. Oh. Alright, never mind. I don't know though. Now I'm debating whether I really want to switch it or not. Maybe I'll keep it longer. Level up! Imperial Link. Many have tendered explanations as to how Imperial Dragoons are able to leap to such absurd heights. From the power of prayer to a strict diet of hare, toad, and crickets. But none save the knights themselves know the truth. Whatever the secret, it is plain that heavy plate would only prove a hindrance. And so the Empire equips its dragoons with armor forged from lighter than linen mithril. This link is part of a vest and would have been worn beneath the breastplate. Come on. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. 
What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. If that's supposed to be Joshua, then I guessed correctly. I was thinking it was him, but that wouldn't make sense. Some time warping going on? I don't know. I, I had a feeling it was him, though. Does that make any sense? Maybe uh, the phoenix. Well, the phoenix gets reborn. Maybe there's some weird. Maybe, maybe time stuff with the phoenix would make sense. Anyways, interesting change there. Interesting uh, reveal. The hideaway. This, we already had this information before, didn't we? Though nigh impossible to tell from the outside, the fallen construct's interior is surprisingly well man maintained and provides the realm's forsaken a place to live in relative peace. I think we read that before. Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. We can say hey to Jill in just a bit. First. I must make the rounds. Hey, it's, uh, not Putin. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey Head Carpenter. I'm sure I'll be calling on your help again, if you've a mind to lend it. A carpenter's work he's never done around here. No back for him. Well? Anything change here? I don't think it did, because it didn't say it did. Yeah, all right, so all this is the same. That it. Fine. So her stock hasn't changed. Oh, the Arete Stone changed, but I think that's just the, the new chapter. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> I wonder what it's trying to say. A Moogle? Hi. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. 
Well, here I am, so drink it in, Koopo. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm. He knows the stuff. But what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bold is no ordinary Mughal. Nectar, you Koopa. say? Clive. You understand Mughal tongue, Koopa? So it would seem. Finally, Koopa! I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. Oh my god, that that's because you talk too fast. Painful. But now you're here, my pom-pom safe at last. You can hear me, you can actually hear me, Koopo! Dude, you just gotta slow down. <laughs> I got like halfway through your dialogue. I can't read that fast. Well, did anybody see what that said? What he's been trying to do? It's Sid's fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop moaning. Mm. Kenneth is a miracle worker. And his dishes taste even better after a hard day's work. This guy's still here. I'd be cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. There's not a day goes by. I don't count my blessings. With his torch held high, the suit is subtle play. But bitter winds put out his light before the break of day. Thank you, Spoony Bard. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. So long ago, I saw eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste. Follow those two. Are you your little friends woken up? I suppose she's wondering where you got to. It's actually showing nothing new at Tomes. That doesn't seem right. And how might this old soul be of service? Must have been something new. I have a few. I fought a Minotaur at least. That might interest you. Yeah, there's at least a few what things. What subject shall we consider today? You lied to me. All right, persons of interest. For some reason, it didn't give an update for Joshua. Maybe we're not supposed to know, even though it's pretty clear. Gav at the King's Fall. Sid's faithful scout, the ever agreeable fellow, volunteered to follow after the dominant that Clive had long been hunting, only to find himself being hunted in turn by the Imperials. As luck would have it, Clive arrived in the nick of time to save his life, forging an unbreakable bond between them. Even the hooded man didn't get an update. That's very strange. All right, lay of the lands got something new. The King's Fall, located in western Sambrec near the Rosarian border, the King's Fall is a towering cataract fed by the waters of multiple converging tributaries. Though these waters long played an integral part in the lives of nearby settlers, an influx of displaced beasts fleeing from the blight has forced many to abandon their claim to the resource. Alright, and the bestiary. Minotaurs, towering beastmen that combine the heads of oxen with bodies eerily human. Minotaurs are abnormally aggressive, a trait that suggests that little man remains within the beast, and roam the grassy meadows of Rosaria, doling out violence seemingly indiscriminately with their crude yet massive clubs. Despite the obvious danger, however, hunters still actively seek out these menaces for their lustrous manes, which often command exorbitant prices at market. And Black Widows. Unlike many arachnids which use gossamer webbing to ensnare their victims, Black Widows prefer instead to cling silently to trees and cliffs and await the passing of an animal below, at which time they leap down and assault their prey with hooked limb and caustic spit. They prefer dark, cool environs, and as such are rarely seen in Valithia's southern deserts. Alright. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. <laughs> it 
just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. We tied it too no. tight. Not even if they were teams of one. Stop moaning. All right, we should go say hi to Jill. Just had a rough time. Actually, hold on before we talk to Jill. A little more looking around. Did they have chickens before? Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild mickleberries. You should speak to Master Barmill. The lime didn't work, and nor did the straw. I'll have to try something else. Oh, I remember these chickens. What do you do with a proper place to train like Bank Rosalys? I'll speak with Otto. Let's get this fixed before someone does themselves a mischief. Healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he 
mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <laughs> New crafting recipe is available to Black Hammer. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I wonder if Sid's over here. this some dude all right we do have some uh, side quests available so we'll definitely head up those it's like one of them's down in the bar ah it's gonna you're gonna have me deliver food again ah Clive I trust you're settling in Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? <laughs> Is this dude really, like, just waiting around all day? Like, I hope someone helps me with this side quest. These poor people will never get fed ten feet away. A place for everyone. I'd be happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Alright, well, that's a little more acceptable. They're around the hideaway instead of, like, right next to them. Deliver a meal to a resident near the entrance. I can do that. Ah, oh, it's the Chocobo lady. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Gav. Hi, Gav. Sid's gone off again, to Rosaria this time to pick up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. Hello, Chocobo Keeper. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. A hearty meal, a simple yet sustaining dish of boiled eggs and spices. Belt bread, lovingly assembled by the hideaway's resident mealsmith. A mealsmith? I've never heard it said that way before. Sounds so much uh, more important. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Told Kenneth I was hankering after some eggs. Oh, I've been looking forward to these all day. 
They keep saying Chocobo. I've always pronounced it Chocobo. I don't know if I'll be able to change that. I think it's ingrained in me. Fuzzy mug of Kenneth's coldest when we're done. There's tight and shit boulders. We got this guy guarding the cells, the jailer. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can they send me? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Should have seen my face when they brought you down here. Still, glad to see you doing well. I'm still confused as to why they locked him up. Like, it would have made sense if they locked him up and then kept him there because they were afraid of his power, but then they just let him go. It's like, well, what was the point of that? I really do with a proper place to train like back in Rosalys. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Hello, Almoner. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves. Which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. I hate to be a burden, but thank you. A troubled soul. Ah, oh, glad to see the color back in your cheeks. <laughs> That's one less thing to worry about. All right, back to Kenneth. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made up. I can leave whenever you're ready. Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place, too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Quest complete. A place for everyone. A Gilbug. All right, we have another side quest over here. From Bohumul, Chief Botanist. You, newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil. And I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot 
concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Go and check on the man's assistant? All right, I'll go. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. All right, search Bahamul, or search for Bahamul's assistant at Galton's Bales. We're looking at half a dozen. All right, let's get out there and do it. Near Lost Wing. Open the world map, yes indeed. Orbell Downs. Oh, right there? Well, that was easy. Shiny! Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm Someone's coming. In trouble. Oh. What's after her? I'm on it! New enemies. Get the more you've got, boy. Oh, got the counter. That's really hard to time. I thought I'd counted before, but that was the first time I've actually done. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? I'm becoming a botanist. Vineyard soil sample. You'd think they'd be a little upset that we're just, like, jacking some of their soil, but... Oh, well. Cleared out the spiders. should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. Alright, so I think I can fast travel from these spire things. I might just be able to fast travel from anywhere, but let me see. Okay. 
Let's see. World map. Oh, looks like I can just do it here. All right, cool. Martel! Hi. My shield in shining armor. You can give those samples straight to the garden master. He's expecting them. There you are. And all safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, he seems very concerned. Vineyard soil sample. Rich, loamy earth gathered from the vineyards of Gotland's bales for use in the gardener Bahumel's experiments. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. Gonna take it, Clive? What are you doing? I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. But you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Search can continue apace, and when my fertilizer is complete, the furrows will need expanding. <laughs> Bahamil will not bow to the blight. Come by again when we've grown some fruit worth eating, and I'll see that you get some. All right, I'm gonna talk to Karen. Can really do with a proper place to tree. Oh wait, before I do. Blacksmith has something there. Well, what you want? Let's see. He can make a Gaia blade plus one. Oh, it's already better than my storm cry. What the heck? While common on the southern continent, worship of the land itself as a deity is almost unheard of in Valisthea. That, however, has not stopped the import of fine steel blades blessed by Gaian presbyters. Under the claim that they are deadlier and more durable than those forged in the twins. Well, the claim seems to be accurate. I would take one of my Imperial Lynx and a Minotaur main. Goldwork Sash. That seems to be a pretty big upgrade. Well, tiny. While it is the rarity and luster of gold that make it the standard of wealth in the realm, the alchemist covers it for a lesser known third quality, ethereal conductivity. I feel like we've seen this before, actually. And battle chains. I feel like we've seen this as well. We have. They're new to him, but I think the other merchant had them. But this Gaia Blade is a significant upgrade. Which is a little sad. But, uh, yeah, I should make this. It'll last you a good while. And I can make it a Gaia Blade plus two if I were to get a Minotaur main. Weird that, so I just made straight plus one. Weird, because I could reinforce a regular one. I don't even think I can buy a regular one. But anyways, if I get another Minotaur main, that one's going up another 10 for uh, damage and willpower damage. That seems pretty good. Uh, what else do we have though? 
Oh, we could get a gold work sash plus two, which is a fairly sizable upgrade. So maybe that's worth it. 42 and 12. And battle chains plus two. I don't remember what I'm wearing. I'm wearing steel crowns. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should. Let's go ahead and do it. So I will make... Oops. I'll make the gold work sash plus one. Oh, wow. It takes a lot of steel silk. But I'll still do it. No scratches, all right? No, nah, don't equip it. Oh, I don't have enough magic dash. Well, dang it. That it. Well, I think I will equip it. Let me see. Because I think it's still better than my dark sash plus two. Yeah, just barely. Fine. Make it quick. What'd you want? That it? Alright. Fine. I'll start the can. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. <laughs> she knows me too well. Oh, I could have just straight up bought a Gaia Blade. Probably should have done that. Oh, well. Too late now. Because it used a lot of my stuff. Weird though, I can just buy a gold work sash plus one. Paddle chains. The breath of wind. It's an expensive one though. Well, let me sell. Dark sash plus two. Oh wait, no, I I have the gold work sash plus one equipped. Now I'm confused again. Whatever. Sell this. You got out else? Oh. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Alright, uh, I actually wasn't planning on leaving at that exact moment. Uh, let me do another poll. We can decide if we're doing story or arcade. Which mode? I 
arcade or story. Looks like this time we're continuing story. Just making sure it's not returning the results for some reason. Hello? Well, I'm not sure why it didn't show the results but at least when I clicked the button it said that story was winning with 56% so uh, I will just trust what it said when I clicked it cuz oh there it goes all right it just took its time all right story it is so we're headed to the three reeds in eastern Rosaria rising waters transformed once fertile farmland into a noisome morass rendering it nigh uninhabitable to all but leeches and lizards been 13 years for this breeze the smell of the grass it's just as I remember it you haven't been back either I couldn't branded keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army you get beheaded just for knowing a deserter the only way out was on a mission I see Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. We should press on. Homecoming. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's Rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Hmm, like a buffalo down there or something. Well, this is a little more open than it's been thus far. Who's this? Traveling merchants? Hello. Look at the cues on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperials. Maybe I should up your rations, build you up a bit. But you'd love another bowl of mouth is best, wouldn't you? He seems nice. Alright, is this buffalo thingy friend or foe? A big horn. He doesn't seem very friendly. Not friendly. Get him, Torgo! Come <laughs> on. 
look at her dropping the ice. Oh, <laughs> right to the face. Oh, crap. Not expecting that. A little help. Oh, he ran away. Did he just reset? Are you freaking serious? Oh my god, he had no health left. What is that crap? Alright, round two. Controlled is right. Majorly trolled. I'm trying to use Rook. Ah, that was a waste. My wounds fall. There we go. That was annoying. Lost half my health for no reason. Oh, hi. Oh no, out of reach. Wait, did you just do a finisher with me? That was pretty cool. Dang it, I did it again. Keep knocking him away right before I do that. Oh! Scorpion things. Prodids? Garuda, lend me your strength. A little help. Shiny. Shiny next to angry. Nice. That's <laughs> enough. I sliced him in half. Nice. Jeez, look at Torgal doing work over here. That was all him. I don't think anyone else saw. Three spools of steel silk. Oh, how did I miss? Right next to me. Get the got, boy. Stay down. 
I don't understand why Torgal's heal sometimes does absolutely nothing. Doesn't make much sense. I'll tell him to heal, he'll cast the spell, my health doesn't move. Happens all the time. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Hello, side quest person. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Rowan the traveling trader. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. I really want to help this guy? <laughs> I guess. Kind of a dick. Uh, I might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. It took all of Clive's willpower not to backhand this man. You and that package I gave you to the stable master at Martha's Rest. And be sure to thank your owner for me. Alright, we've got a shiny. Bloody hides. Oh, and we've got one of those gigas. Let's go. Did me. Stupid thing. It was almost dead too. A little help. Oh, missed that dodge. I want more... the potion. I want Torgal to heal me. Dang it. He needs to stop slacking. Heal me. I think his heal actually got me that time. Kill me again, Torgo. See? Why is it not working? It's so frustrating. Kill again? Nope, not. Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> Here he comes! <laughs> Oh jeez. And my problem is I'm waiting too long. Yeah, once again that heal did nothing. I, I don't get it. Don't get it. We leveled up. I guess that's one way to heal. Because Torgal won't heal me. He'll act like he's gonna heal me. But he won't actually do it. Alright, sharp fang. Oh, and what's this? Can 
go in the water, right? Chocobos! Six briar clam shells. Get him, Torgal. Don't let them fall like all the rest. Ow. Rude. The heck is that? That's interesting looking animal. It's friendly. Hi. You are super cool looking. Five gill. Not exactly exciting. Juggled. It's over. See, Torgo healed me there. I wonder if it has anything to do when you take damage. You get like an empty bar, which suggests that you could maybe regenerate that, and maybe that's what he heals. Maybe that's what it is. He doesn't seem to heal me when I don't have that missing section of health. Big horn down. That fire punch does so much damage. Get a boy. Sick of Orgo. Get a boy. You fool, that will never work. Sick of boy. For a second, it, it was black blood that he dropped, but I thought I said back blood for a second. I'm like, what the heck is back blood? Back blood. Bighorn gives a lot of ability points. We're just exterminating wildlife because we can. Hey, we have returned to Rosaria. And we need to make sure it's safe. Plus, this is like the first time I get to do any like sort of exploring. I think I'm gonna pass that up. Never. Martha's rest. 
Not a ton of exploring, but there's at least some like side areas. I missed the chest. Oh, where was it? I'll go back and get it. Oh, that was weird. Five go. Back near the big horn? Okay. We'll check it out. Found some bandits? Throw your weapons down Hi. Oh, they got wrecked. I <laughs> got absolutely wrecked. I'm probably so confused. Like, who the heck is this? Once again, this is not very fair odds. We have two dominants against random bandits. Not too fair. Alright, so that's how we get up to Martha's Rest. I will go back for that chest, I didn't forget. Is this game fun? Yeah, I like it a lot so far. I have uh, relatively minor criticisms. The only like substantial criticism I have is regarding controlling Torgal. And that's just because it's the same buttons as my items. So if you just happen to be on the wrong bar and not realize it, you can really screw yourself. And yeah, his heal only seems to restore those missing sections of health. If you use it when you have full health or you don't have that bar of missing health, then it won't do anything. So at least we figured that out. Uh, I am on the max difficulty, Chrome. And by the way, I actually like difficulty, so that's a strange comment. My personal preference would actually be that the game is harder. But it might be ramping up. I don't know. a little on the easier side but I mean I kind of expected that with a Final Fantasy game in fact this game more than any other I've played recently I would love to have much harder difficulty because it actually works uh, there's a new game plus slot difficulty. Well, that's um, disappointing. I actually hate when games do that. So there's my second criticism of the game. That difficulty should be available immediately. Because I would love to play it right now. Oops. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't stand when when games lot difficulty. That's bad design in my opinion. The only time I'll agree with it is if it is specifically made for like a new game plus and is only available as such. Then I'm okay with it. But if they're just arbitrarily keeping it from you, then I don't like that. So I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm not a big fan of New Game Plus in general, though. There's a few that I've enjoyed it with, but uh, in general, I think it just arbitrarily extends the lifetime of a game. It doesn't really add much. I feel like you have a wrong impression of what I enjoy, Chrome. Unless they somehow break the game, then they can make it as difficult as they like, and I will have fun. And I don't think they're magically going to break the game, so uh, I think we're safe. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've made their game fun to the point that I trust them at this point. So. I don't think that they're going to just completely fall apart. Whatever the experience is, I'm sure it'll be a good time. They've earned my trust at this point. I have no reason to doubt them. And honestly, on some of these fights, I've missed so many dodges, I'd be perfectly fine <laughs> with having died. I would think if the consequences were higher, I would have not missed those dodges, but regardless, like, I did not do so hot on some of these fights. <laughs> all my stuff so I couldn't do that much damage unfortunately. Raging or bucking bull. But yeah, there's been this um, strange thought process recently that people think I don't like difficulty or I get mad at difficult things when really I've just been mad at the poorly made games that I've been uh, <laughs> unfortunately playing as of late. Um, but so far this is very well made. Yeah, you're right. I just have PTSD from Valkyrie Elysium, but that game sucks on the easiest difficulty. So I explain. Oh yeah, Valkyrie Elysium is a garbage pile game. Valkyrie Elysium is rage-inducing, not because it's difficult in any way, but because it's so poorly, poorly made. There's none of that here. All of my criticisms of this game are very, very minor. And more personal preference. The only thing that I think is... That's I, I think anyone should agree with that Torvald's controls being the same as your items is horrible. I don't know why they did that. And honestly, I don't even know why they decided to have you control them. I kind of wish he just did his own thing. And you, Now, you can't... To, in their defense, they did give you a ring where that will happen. Where he'll just um, control himself. But I don't know, like, it, it feels cheap to me. Like, I might do it anyway. 
but it feels like um, it's not how they wanted me to play, so to speak. So I am trying to do it manually. Not only that, but I imagine that doing it manually makes him take actions more frequently, so it's probably also better. You caved in and equipped the ring that controls Torgal. I might get to that point. The only time it became an issue was when uh, I was doing the um, arcade mode for that one chapter and I burned all my freaking potions. <laughs> then that was very frustrating. And I knew that that was gonna happen at some point since they're on the same, same buttons. You don't use the ring or control Torgos powers? Oh, there's that chest I missed, thank you. <laughs> you just you just let him stand there. Controlling Torgal seems like it's better for expert players that can juggle those mechanics. Yeah, that's my assumption too. Is that it's actually better to manually control him because he he'll do more things. He does action still? Oh, okay. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. I sure am. I don't know why we're playing along though. We could easily just destroy all of you, but I guess we should keep a low profile. Hello, Jared. Jer Gerard. Gerard. Gerard, probably. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. A sealed crate, a heavy wooden crate nailed fast and branded with a courier's or courier's iron. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Quest complete. A whole 18 experience. Good girl. You get some rest now. You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new age of enlightened order. The place has gone to the dogs. That visual right there really reminds me of FF15. I think there was a meteor. I can't remember where that city was that looked similar to that. Might have been where Titan was at, or something along those lines. I, I just, that seems really familiar. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Stuff was through the golden stables again. Where was that path that led down to the water? Makes me think I missed something down there. Is it right here? Oh, here we go. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You keep that 
that sword in its sheath. Okay, yeah, this was the path. And I don't see any shinies over here. Yeah, I already got that. Okay. When he goes to East Pool, leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is back up. And when's that gonna be? It's cool looking down. Villager. Here. Has this thing always been glowing? Nah, just because I'm here. Kind of a big deal. There is one missing. Hip a black mage scarecrow, I like that. <laughs> so much for all parts of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. Oh, and it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. There's one of those crystals that, like, an entire town uses. What's this? Forevermore Orchestrian Toll? Alright, well, something for, for the jukebox. Squeezing this until they're in a drop left. I don't think they had this in any other game where everyone could use magic, just have access to these crystals. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, alright? But I was supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. Does this man even know what he's doing? Blood Axe Mercenary. The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. <laughs> we found the strumpet. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. Come on, come inside. Dude, I'll that... be happy to show you how well I wield my blade after my shift's over. Did I wander into the red light district? What's, what's going on over here? This is just a courtesan house. Hey, what's this? A goblin coin. Another area to explore. <laughs> Man, strumpet is my favorite non-food word that sounds like food. I do like the word. Wish I had a Thank you, Witcher. Witcher expanded my vocabulary. What are these things? They look ugly. Little crabs, a megalo crab. 
Hello, Megalo Crab. I beat you up now. Pretty sure I have fangs. Do crabs have fangs? That doesn't sound right. Oh, this one looks special. What's this guy's deal? Adamantoids! Oh! Aren't adamantoids usually gigantic? It's weird seeing one regular size. <laughs> Alright. Bounced off of them. <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> uh oh, what's he up to? He's got magic? Ow! Bro! You had the same reaction seeing an Adamant Toys. Yeah, it's so weird seeing them regular size. Oh crap. Oh, he tricked me. Done tricked me. Uh, so Torgo can definitely heal that. Maybe they're just babies. Yeah, maybe we kill enough Adamantois and the real sized one comes out pissed off. What did you do to my offspring? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the Adamantois in 15 was, was literally a mountain. <laughs> I remember that now. All right, so let's see. We came from over there. Oh, there's a shiny over there, but I think that's past the broken bridge, yeah. That turtle's a cutie. He's a daddy. He got him my way. We care not for the wildlife. Well, we're not gonna lack for supplies. Three briar clam shells. level in most Final Fantasy games is 99. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they changed from that. Max level is usually 99. Max health and mana and all sorts of resources are usually 9,999. Six Brian Clemens. Oh, it's another! It's another tortoise boy. Time. 
actually seem to hurt me. It just spins away from me. Oh, I can't hit him from the side. That's awesome. Get away from me. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Keep going this way. There's lots of stuff out here. I'm exploring the countryside. Why not? Fancy chest. You're throwing bubbles at me. Alright, what's the deal with this? Anything good? Gob oh, 15 chunks of werite and 15 sharp coins. I think that's what gave me the goblin coin, too. Six briar clam shells. Chocobos! Can I ride him? Oh, no, I don't want to attack him. Maybe I can attack him to... to. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I want to be friends. Ah, fine. Jeez, that's Why are you so against this uh, blue bird? Level up! <laughs> blue bird's worth 70 AP. Well, I got him. I don't know if 70 AP is a lot. But apparently it is. They were just chilling. No, he attacked me. I waited. I made sure he was aggressive. Dang, this is a cool looking area. Alright, what is this place? Glademund Abbey. Ah, oh, I can't go in. I'm sad. Seventy AP is a ton. Okay. I got a ton of AP and I got a chest. Ten pinches of magic dash. Well, don't you worry. I got that bluebird. He could have been a absolutely gorgeous mount for somebody, but 
Now he's dead. Like he deserves. I don't know why he deserves it, but he deserves it. Sorry, Chocobos. But you may be associated with the bluebird. For this, you must die. Oh, wait. Wait, these ones are friendly. So only when they're with a the bluebird do they have a problem. Oh, there's another bluebird. Let's get rid of these first. that bluebird thought you were safe never where do you think you're going I'm getting out of here it's kind of weird that the chocobos are only aggressive when they're near a bluebird otherwise they're cool put them near a bluebird they're ready to fight Yeah, because those, those chocobos, they're cool. They're just chilling. a serene place it's weird though they're like rosaria is not the way you remember it and then you come here it's all beautiful and peaceful it's like <laughs> are you sure and we, we might not like the imperials and all but they seem to be taking pretty good care of the place meteorite Crabs. Oh, she froze it. Nice. I haven't seen her do that. That's it. We got another bridge that's all closed up. Get the ball, you got <laughs> no, I did it again. I knocked them out of my range. That's enough. Launch them. Get over here. Make it look easy. I try. I'm 
Sharp Fang. Oh, we got another one of those bighorn dudes. All right, yeah. This bridge ain't gonna work for us. Fifteen gil. Hello, bighorn. Let us fight to the death. Not this time. He's got a chest. Ten thousand. I think it's the first time we got five digits. Flawless victory. You think they take care of his area? This is just the wildlands. Well, I meant they're not ruining it. Like, it's all nice and pretty. Just saying, they're not, like, strip mining the place. They're not, uh... You know, they haven't set up any oil derricks out here. Could be worse, that's all I'm saying. They're not fracking. I think we might have seen everything there is to see out here. Seems that way. All right, back to town. Oh, well, I guess there's some stuff over here. A killer bee! Did they even call killer bees before? Yeah. Oh, I dodged early. He got me. Kill me, Torgal. There you go. Finally, a use for you, heal. Shut thing. Back in the town. Torgold deserved a pet. He held to that 10k. I can't pat him all the time. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. Don't be shy. 
Oh, there's a merchant here. Hello, forager. Been doing healthy trade with the folk from the monastery of late. Funny how Grieger's servants always seem to have full purses. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Anything catch your eye? Got a Gaia blade. And a bastard sword. Gold work sash. The Founder's Footsteps Orchestrian Roll. That is 20,000. My god, these songs are expensive. I got nothing I want to sell. I mean, I do. Jeez, I have 457 sharp fangs. Maybe I should sell some of those. Let's sell a hundred. <laughs> we could probably sell more, but let's just sell a hundred. A fair trade. That all is it. Twenty thousand is better than forty k. At least is that what it was at the last merchant? Did you hear the latest from Del Mechia? Titan spat with Shiva. Crusaders didn't stand a chance even with an icon. Work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders and proper trades, not just selling our blades and our bodies. We should think about pressing on. All right, all right. Just let me get this down, mate. Us. On dressing greens of Geisel. One, never down raw, lest bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Two, avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the iron, rendering it none but or rendering it none better than slag. Three, and by no means put the stew, lest the vapors overexcite stabled bows. <laughs> they call them bows for short. Okay. If suffer the fodder, one must first mix with nine parts drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen malador. Martha Brooks, no sharps. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, and fingering. <laughs> there, there will be no fingering in this establishment. So all you rambunctious kids, you, uh, keep your fingers to yourself. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. 
Gav said he might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. All right, fulfill Martha's request and find Bernard. Marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Oh, we might have walked past that guy earlier. Any goods to East Pool, leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is back up. And when's that gonna be? Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. No, oh, not this guy. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? I already cleaned this place out. Came from under the bridge. Come on. How'd you manage to find more? Oh, the shinies are already back. I hate that. There he is. I really do. Hold on, we're coming. Final Fantasy XV did the same thing, and I hated it there too. It's over. No, I missed. You lose. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. 
I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. It is a little annoying we're making such a big deal about a bridge when we're not, like, moving goods. Like, really? We can't cross that? And especially, like, right there? <laughs> like, what is that, like, three feet deep? Just fixing these things. Timber didn't last too long in these marshes. Anyways, thank God he's gonna help us with our bridge problem. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I was supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. Does this man even know what he's doing? I hear the levees are you to go up again. Founder, help us. Masters will be squeezing this until they're in the drop now. Do you like that? Well, there's plenty more where that came from. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They have nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Demonic monkey! Thank you, my friend. Oh, and you're asking if this game is good. I, I really enjoy it so far. I'm... I'm the, the open world parts are kind of whatever. I'm, I'm, I want to see what they do with it more as we progress, but they kind of seem a little forced at the moment. Um, but outside of that, I'm having a great time. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. 
Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Jeez, that lady just tossed away her newborn kid like it was nothing. Just glare at her. You monster. Alright, make for Glade Mondabi. I've been there before, so it should be a quick trip. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Away, are they? That's right. It's the new crop. Came on the last wagon. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts here. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way, did we? No. Well, all the enemies I cleared out are still gone, but I guess the shinies come back? That's really weird. Although these shinies didn't come back, so why did the other shinies go back? Weird. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I never want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. A 
Atlas has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now that their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Jeez. I guess only if they're forced to use their magic, they turn to stone? Because obviously neither of us are, but maybe because we're dominance? Maybe a bearer is... Or maybe like a standard magic user is different? Overuse? I feel like we overuse. <laughs> but maybe because we're dominance, we can get away with it. Like, if anyone's overusing, it's it's me right now. I'm, like, fighting every wild creature I can find and using magic constantly. Not to mention, Sid is also doing the same. Oh, that is true, and then Joshua was coughing up blood, but they weren't petrifying, they were coughing up blood, both of them. <laughs> Clive has plot armor. Fair. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property, at least by law. 
Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Seal obtained the slumbering chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. A bearer's lot. Alright, our bridge is repaired. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. you ago back in the day she was a slave to her fate just like you I wanted to save her for a while I even thought I could but just because you think something doesn't make it true Sid Savior, just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. I wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting.
Holding on. Oh, a new quest is available nearby. Is it now? Yes, it is. Oh, two of them. Well, we may as well see what's up. And yep, I was just talking about Sid not petrifying, and uh, well, there you go. The game was one step ahead of me. Clark, the fishmonger. Here, you're that Barrow who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Search the swamp for the crystal. I might as well have a look. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Bog crabs wouldn't eat a crystal, would they? Surely not. Not even those little bastards in the swamp. All right. Let's go beat up some crabs. I guess we found it. And I guess I may as well re-grab the shiny that I got earlier. <laughs> Crab bullying simulator. <laughs> yeah, it's not too inaccurate at the moment. crystal. A thin membrane of fetid muck covers this crystal, which, still in its holder, otherwise appears undamaged. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Quest complete. Crystalline lifeline. 
We're ready to magic dash. Life without my crystal don't bear thinking about. You saved my livelihood and no mistake. All right, what about this person? I have to find him before the Imperials do. Brennan, a sellsword. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. The poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? False friends agree to help with the search, of course. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find a bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Norris was seen heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you can learn something over there. We have to find him, Clive, before someone else does. Fallen Gate. I guess that's this way. Inquire about Norris. Do you know anything off duty, Sellsword? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. All right, search for Norris over there. You Looks like my shiny. Looks like the shinies are back, which probably means the enemies I killed are back. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? No, well, maybe they're not actually. Far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Kind of weird. But yeah, all the enemies I s took out seem to be gone. was carrying no doubt at least I know which way he went someone made sure work of them I wonder if that someone was Norris 
Oh, these guys aren't even aggressive. Norris, what you doing? They're friendly. Is that him? I found him. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. We never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But, if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. Why, Ron? After all these years... You were like a brother to me. I'm sorry. It... It's been a hard day. I'll be here when Martha's man comes looking. All right, well, we can uh, get him off the the scent with this lantern. I'm back. If I'm leaving this to a bearer, I'll go myself. Your friend's dead. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. And he wished those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who we'll want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Quest complete, false friends.
He showed the tiniest bit of remorse. But he's still terrible. Alright. I believe we've done all the side things. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. There's another side quest coming up. But we haven't been over there yet. Let's go. So, we make for Eastpool. What does this guy have to say now? Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please. Even to the north, now the bridge is fixed. Ah, he's one of the good ones. Good job, Bernard. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. We finally have a bridge. Light, it's spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Let the crab and spider slaughter commence. <laughs> Another turtle? Another turtle. Let me grab this. A potion! Nice! Oh, that was a bad dodge. Well, a little early. I usually do the opposite. I usually go late. Well, thousand. Woo! Right at that time. <laughs> Get him. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do, boy. Bone. No more turtle. Shiny! We got these guys. I need a name for them. These sharp fangs. And we'll go in my collection. Very well. Tata? That's all I'll pronounce from now on. Tata! Oh. Don't let them get away. 
red in these dudes. All right, we got some bandits over here. Let's go say hi. Hello, foot pad. <laughs> I wonder how long I can juggle them like that. Not bad. Oh, you're still alive. Ten pinches of magic ash. Killed the bandits, right? I right know. Oh yeah. I get back here. I got all turned around. All right. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we went from over there. Okay. Never mind. It makes sense. What is that? Some sort of wyvern? A wyver. Oh, the counter! Oh, he does a double attack. That's what he got me last time. This time. I was ready. Right, this guy's actually putting up a fight. You should have just stomping everything, but I haven't fought these. If I have, I don't remember. Oh. Right, what we got in this? Bloodhawk Jets? Oh, what is that? Let's see, let's see. So we have defense 10, healing potency of potions 20%, and attack 7. Maybe I replace this one. What's this do? Bloodhawk Jess. Bloodhawks prey on other birds, swooping in on them from above and using both beak and talon to administer multiple deep lacerations that result in heavy blood loss and eventually send the target plummeting to the ground, where the hawk can collect the corpse for its brood. Increases aerial combo damage by 8%. I don't really care about that. I think I'm going to keep my cleric's medallion. Chronolith is detected nearby. What is a chronolith? Is that this? What is this? It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working, though. Huh. Okay. Hello! Over here! Frederick Hunter. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck, I'm branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, 
That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You and the Marfries, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter the lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Agree to deal with the wolves? All right. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. All right, slay the beasts drawn to the bait. Oh, well, they're literally right there. I'll go in a second. I saw one of those... I think it was a bighorn I saw over here. Is it a bighorn? Oh, it's a minute. Oh, good. I need a minotaur, man. Perfect. Hi, buddy. Let us do it. Oh, we got me. Heal me, Thorval. Prevent me from damage? I think it did. Get to of all go. Nice. Three sharp fangs. Oh, looks like a chest over there. Meteorite. Oh, what's that? Is that another one? Oh, here we go. I think it's a Minotaur plus bees, although... He's, yeah, he's not after us yet. He will be, don't worry. Oh, maybe he won't be. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me at all. So even if it doesn't counter, it makes me invulnerable. That's pretty cool. I uh, I really like that ability. Ugh! 
Hit him. Not this time. Get him, boy. Level up. Twenty two. Nice. Oh, we got a Minotaur main. I don't know if the last one gave me one, but we got it now. We can upgrade that sword, if I remember correctly. Two pinches of magic ash. All right. Let's see, what's this shiny? Five gil. Not too exciting. Jesus, wrecking these fools. Well, I suppose we can deal with those wolves. They're right over here. Nice. Oh, jeez. Torval, sorry, Torval. They look like you. I'm sorry. Got to find this Bryce and let him know the road's safe. All right. Let's see, that's where we took out the Minotaurs. Let's go this way. Oh, what's down here? Shiny! And a chest. Goblin coin. I don't know if we've looked at the description of goblin coins. What are those? Goblin coin. Economists are wont to argue that currency-based commerce is a cornerstone of civilization. If true, this coin would suggest that goblins are far more civilized than humankind gives them credit for. Or perhaps that humankind is rather less civilized than we presume. I don't think we've seen bone necklace either. Very little rhyme and even less reason went into the creation of this ghastly neck ornament. The bone strung along its crude twine, most likely be belonging to those unfortunate enough to meet its maker. And I think that's it. Yeah, we've seen the rest of this. Cut. The broken hilt. Hello, vexed villager. Are you Bryce? What's it to you, bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh, Frederick, you oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. <laughs> it's so dirty, like everyone's like always like, thank your master, because you're worthless scum. All 
I uh, didn't look at Briar cl Clamshell. I think you're right. Let's see. When cut and polished, the spiny opaline shells of Western Storm's Briar Clam rivaled the luster of most gems. More importantly, however, they incorporated... Or more importantly, however, when incorporated into armor, they can also provide nigh unmatched protection, being strong enough to turn aside an adamantine blade without suffering so much as a scratch. Well, good. We can use that for some armor. And I've got oh, lots of it. The windmills. That must be Eastpool. Shiny, a sharp fang. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Rosaria seemed a very different place back then. Oh, you're out of here, Orange. Have a good night, man. Oh, what's going on over here? This is an interesting path. Might lead us to an awesome view. Oh! And a wyver. Wyver. However you pronounce that. Alright. I know his moves a little bit now. I shouldn't have done that. There, boy. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Toggle. Get him, boy. There, boy. Dragon Talons, nice. I think those are fairly useful. Alright, I don't see anything else up here. So pretty. Such a nice looking area. over there. Bloody Heights. Oh, look at that waterfall. That is gorgeous. That water looks so good. <laughs> Not like the water in Final Fantasy 15. Oh my god, was that bad. You guys remember that? Oh, who are you? Drink up now, my darling.
quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. <sighs> Thirteen years of killing. 
13 years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them, and sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. We got three purple Before items. We to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. So these were my father's clothes. Was my father a vampire? <laughs> this is some interesting wardrobe choices. All right, what are these purple items I got? Uh, Invictus, one of a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount. 
Drustanus. Invictus has been passed down through generations for use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. The Metian Cross. Metia is sometimes called the Kustrel, as legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant, carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle. This belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwyn and Captain Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. And the Metian Bonds. It is a long-standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift to scions of the Ducal line upon their coming of age. These bracers, dyed in the red of the star Metia, were what Elwyn's father chose for him, and formed part of a set of clothes kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. I fear that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the Blight many years ago. Have care out there, both of you. Alright, let me see if there's anything back of the house. I feel like that's where they would hide a shiny. She's like, I thought you were leaving. Can't go in, can I? A chest! Spools of steel silk. Hello, villager. Well, aren't you dressed up smart? Especially for a bearer. Proper little prince you look. Seriously, what prince looks like this? I mean, maybe in Transylvania. Not that it's not cool. <laughs> it's just feels strange. I feel like I should be like sucking on people's blood right now. Like turning into a bat or something. the goblin coin harvest stone again this year bloody blight jeez another chest sure this harvest will see us through winter maybe but it's not as old we've got anywhere else to go Goblin coin. Hello, villager. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Interesting. That tower certainly has been a prominent piece of the vista for some time now. Hello, merchant. Well met, friend. He's got a Gaia blade. Not as good as Invictus, but maybe fully upgraded it would be. Gold work sash, nope. Breath of Wind, he has that too, 11,000. He's got a song, 40,000. Jeez. Uh, I could sell him my Gaia Blade, but I don't know if the upgraded one is going to be better or not. So let's hang on to that. Same with the gold word, Goldwork Sash. Steel Crown. Oh, this definitely is not going to hold up. So... 
get rid of this. This should make me a few gil. Might hold on to this. It's worth uh, a lot of gil, though. I don't think I ever looked at the gnarled scale. Covered in countless scars, these scales tell a tale of supremacy and survival, albeit one now ended. Safe travels. All right. We are leaving Eastpool. Oh, actually, no side quests. We are leaving Eastpool. Y you, those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Find a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. You'll find the bearer I spoke of over by the well. Introduce yourself. It will mean a lot to him. All right. Where's this old man? He 
He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Speak with the villagers. Do you know anything? Well, no. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. I have a bad feeling this guy just happened to die. <laughs> like, right as I show. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour. Cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with them. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Hello, troubled youth. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. 
But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Okay, maybe he's in the field. Drink up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Is he where that wyvern was? Well, I cleared it out. He should be safe. Oh, the shiny's back. Well, I guess I'll collect it again. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Give them all you've got, boys. Oh, that was easy. Oh, oh that was more. Organs. What'd you do to piss all these things off, old man? Enemy slay. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came! I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. 
But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Quest complete. Back in the day. You take care now. We'll speak again when you return. Okay. To Phoenix Gate. The dim. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Are we really not going to have any monsters in here? <laughs> in some ways, that makes Sid's place the safest in the world. No monsters. You won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about, as if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. Now, let me check out that side path. Hey, another potion. They are preparing me for something. There might be beasts after all. Of the boss variety. Hey, what's this place? What's this? Another relic of the fallen. Huh. I don't know. Maybe for later. That tower. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. High potion and a potion. There's definitely a boss. Scatter me. to discover the truth. Hmm. 
Yeah, we unlocked all these. So we have Martha's Rest atop a rocky tour overlooking the countryside. Nests Martha and her flock, offering well-earned respite to all who would make the climb. East Pool, a humble village inhabited by a humble stock. The Deadlands, but an arm's reach from her gates. The Dim. Not long ago, this was a lush forest teeming with life. But that was before the Blight rendered it a twisted tangle of rotting bows. Shunned by even the foulest of her. And Phoenix Gate Ruins. Untouched in the many winters since the Stronghold's fall, the scars of that fateful night linger still upon her walls. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Jeez. <laughs> Look at that freaking crater. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix.
Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. Wow. Interesting architecture. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Holy crap, that looks amazing. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Joshua would have had to face this on his own. Seems a little rough. <laughs> it's a Jedi. Bunch of little Jedis. Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Jeez, look at this place. All right, let's keep going. Fallen bug. I got me. Stupid defense node. Hey. I think so. Or is this the way I came in? Nah, this is the right way. Fallen Guardian. Oh, 
get countered. Oh my god. Uh oh. Get out of there. Oh. My wounds, boy. Dang. So if I dodge the first bit of that, I dodge the whole thing. That's kind of weird. Does any of this make sense to you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Ooh, the favor of wind. Oh, it's for gouge. May as well look at it though. May as well look at it. This one. Oh, 15%. I feel like that's higher than the other ones. Yeah, those are 10. 8, 9, 10. Huh, this one's better. Got by 15. Something to think about. Ocean. Well, now they're being generous with the potions. There was like a long drought where they give me like nothing. Oh, we got bombs. Apparently, fire works against them. They're like bombs in most other Final Fantasies. We do not want to let them stay low health. Alright, got rid of him. Oh, I might do that. Oh, never mind. Oh, why did I do that? I was dead. All right, so far not that bad. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. What's all this? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. 1200 gil, now we're talking. This looks a little precarious. Another guardian. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got defense nodes. All right, come on. Oh, 
don't get countered. All right, that is a good ability. <laughs> I do really like it. Get him, boy. Sick of Togol. Not over here. You know what to do, boy. Oh, new enemies. Come on it. Sick of Togol. Ow. Did you just heal me? Ow! Rude! No! Dang it. Alright, got rid of all his friends. Heal me, Torgal. Oh, one of the friends is still alive. There we go. Dagged. Dare boy. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Togo. Dare boy. Sick of Togo. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Bombs, all right, focus the bombs. It's over. I'm not done with you, bomb. So I'm not done with you. Trying to get more gill for my kills, I like that. Oh, the will of wind. Ooh. So if I had bought it, I would have just wasted my money because I just got one. Improves Rook's Gambit by 10%. That doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> That's a big boy. Man, he's got so much health. Hold on. Got me. 
Oh, dang it. Staggered! Ten thousand damage. Not bad. Uh oh. Press the attack. Readying atomic ray. Not for long, it is it. With me. Alright, hurry up. Hurry up. Alright, got him. It's down. This is our chance. Get him, boy. Oh! All right, give me a potion. Oh no! See, I used the potion again. I hate that. Trying to control Torval. Or Torval. Oh, that's way too early. Ugh. Staggered! It's over. Fallen iron. Despite thousands of years having passed since its forging, not a single blemish, scratch, nor patch of rust can be found upon this metal surface. As to how that is possible, none can say, and the answer will likely remain lost forever. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. A favor of wind, wicked wheel. I'm assuming 10%. 10%. A potion. Potion. Oh, well, they expected me to get my butt kicked on the last fight, apparently. Twas not the case. They really expected me to get my butt kicked. Holy crap.
right then. Lich. That was cool. <laughs> that was a really cool move. Oh, I went right over the top of him. Dang it. What you give me after the Iron Giant? Two. The hell was that thing? It wasn't like the others. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Uh, Chris, I could certainly adjust the volume, but you're the only one who's mentioned an issue. I could, uh. Oh, character dialogue specifically? I doubt I could do that. Because I think it's already maxed out. Um, but I, I'll I'll do a poll to see what everyone thinks. But nobody's mentioned any problem. Master volumes is seventy. Music voice. Yeah, that's all maxed out. But let me do a poll. While we while we wait here for a second. Uh, game. All right, I didn't go this way. There's probably nothing over here, but we can take a quick look. Oh no, we can't actually. <laughs> oh, I go over there. Well, there's two different ways to go. That's interesting. Well, I must say I'm a little disappointed <laughs> that you, so many people wanted me to turn up the volume and nobody said a thing. I guess we're turning up the volume. Okay, let's try that. To be fair, not a lot of people voted, so maybe they didn't want the volume turned up, but it's now turned up. If you care in the future, you should have voted. Robots are like ghosts, but okay. Oh wait, no, this went back to the main room. Okay. There wasn't anything else in there, was there?
hello. Another potion, jeez. They're suddenly bombarding me. Lights. Well, that did something. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. And what do we have here? And I wonder if anything fancy happens if I step on those. No. Sometimes it does. What's in it? Well, that's pretty, pretty crazy looking, but it kind of looks like Ifrit, doesn't it? Huh. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Second dominant to fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. 
He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Fighting it for it? Fighting myself? Maybe? It's all confusing. Oh, he got me. Dang. Uh oh, bad place to be. Get out of there. Oh my god. It's hard to even get close to the hit. Not this time. Ooh, you like that dodge, Ifrit? Ow. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> A little 40 damage is going to scare him. Oh, you better not freaking run away again. Oh, volcanic burst. Right. That's it. A... I don't know what to do about that. I guess I can wait longer. Oh. Pew, pew, pew. oh wait. Oh, okay. Ow. Alright, I need to push. No! I really suck at fighting him. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, there we go. Fall him down. Pew, 
pew, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, that attack, I just cannot get the timing right. All right, let's see. Can I dodge that? Oh, not so much. Now, It's a mirror match. Wait, what? He just beat me up through my counter? Oh, staggered him. Staggered me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was brutal. Thanks. Me is no joke. timing 
7,000 damage. All right. Acceptable. Oh, that's probably not great. That's probably not great. Oh, God. Oh, he's sucking me in, too. Nope. There will be none of this. Here. Take some pew pew. Woo! Get parried. Ow, he got me. Not this time. Staggered. from you. Accept the truth. Show yourself, you freeze. Ooh, I'm all fired up. Oh, <laughs> just whooped him. Oh my god, that damage. Bigger?
shadow vanquished. Hey, level up. I'm level 23. A fire shard. The power of the icon Ifrit made manifest. This shard of crystal was hot to the touch and could be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, 
you. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! The meaning of life. What was that guy's name again? Kupka or something like that? He's not happy. Not happy with Sid, but he really shouldn't be happy with Clive. Ifrit awoken. Clive is gaining control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the Limit Break Gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the Abilities tab in the main menu. That threw me off for a second. I forgot those are Phoenix abilities I've been using. Limit Break. The Limit Break gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's Inner Beast and Semi-Prime into Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3 when this gauge is full. The gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-Priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard-breaking strikes. Sweet! So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again, about Lady Hannah amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. I don't think anyone's safe with Sid right now, Clive. Just saying. And strange of Sid to make a path back to himself with that delivery. Uh, let's go ahead and save, because that's where we're gonna call it a night. Uh, let's see, upcoming stream schedule. Tomorrow night, we'll be playing uh, Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor. Should be the final stream for that, I imagine, based on the progress we've made. Uh, Tuesday will be The Witcher 3. 
Wednesday, we'll be playing Final Fantasy again. Thursday is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with Blueberry. Saturday's Final Fantasy. And Sunday... All right, did I skip a day? Friday's Final Fantasy. Saturday... Sorry, Friday's Final Fantasy. Saturday is GTA Online. And then Sunday is Final Fantasy again. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.